Well, nobody's better than Tony, and he's certainly having a great uh, uh, run now in AEW. Oh, uh, he's and, uh, fabulous. Hey, the guy is so damn good. He doesn't get nearly enough credit. Tony Schiavone is really good at what he does. Well, and you talked about the mix back in Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Bob Cottle was, I believe, the primary announcer back then. Tom and Miller. Think, uh, Tom well, Miller. Bob was, in, Bob was in Raleigh. Oh, okay. Okay, but I thought the team of Tony and Bob, I thought uh, Tony gave Bob Excellent. a little bit of a second, second life. A, a second, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, oh, Bob Cottle was fantastic. But I just think, you know, like, not, like everything in sports now, I, I think that it's, I have to keep pushing. It, as, as, I mean, as well as talent, you got to keep pushing younger guys into these announced positions. I mean, I look at Romo, and Romo to this day you know, was a great football player. I don't know if he'll ever be in the Hall of Fame, but he's 10 times the announcer he was a football player. Tony Romo to me right now is the guy. I and, agree. He, he, cool. and, and Mark, you see a lot of football. Tony Romo, from the day he walked behind that mic, he, he took on a whole new stance. Well, and, and being a good player is no guarantee you're going to be a good announcer. Either. Exactly. For example, Ray Bork, who's one of the top defensemen of all time in hockey, he became an analyst for ESPN. Mm -hmm. This is years and years ago, and they literally had to let him go after a week. He was that really? bad. Yeah. So, uh, so it, it, it fits some better than others, but you're right about Tony Romo, and certainly Tony Schiavone is... Uh, to my mind, the three best announcers ever in wrestling history are in no particular order, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Lance Russell. And I think whoever's fourth is a relatively distant fourth. I would, I would agree. I would agree. I'd say I'm fourth. What do you think? Uh, uh, um, well, you, if you'd done it longer, you would be number one. <laughs> That's nice of you to say, but I think... Yeah, but it, 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 at some point in time, as, a, as an announcer, you have to be a baby face. And you, you are incapable of being nice. Oh, for a period of time. still am, still am. That's in my radio. <laughs> I, I got to tell you though, and uh, and uh, people are going to give me a hard time for this, but I watched the guys doing color today. Yeah. And I'd be better than all but a couple of them. No question about that. All these years later, with what I've learned about announcing, and for that matter about wrestling, I'd be better than all uh, but a couple of them. And, and one thing I would know too, is that you don't have four and five people on mic. That's one thing yeah. about AEW that frustrates me a great deal. They're announce team is often four or five guys yeah you, you know what i mean and, and yeah. all that happens then is you try to get your shit in i'm sorry no matter who you are you're human you're going to try to get your voice heard above the others instead of painting a picture and when you have that many guys on mic too nate you can never use silence as a dramatic device because there's never any silence exactly i, I couldn't agree more